All right, I'm working on Mercury 9. Okay, I showed you the circuit I have going for part of the engines. What I need to do is manufacture that circuit, circuit three times. I started working on the LED end of it, but I know I need a circuit board to hold the chip and the resistor for the red light. I've got some perf board here. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, you get this at Radio Shack, you can get it on eBay. Probably going to start buying that on eBay because it's going to be cheaper than Radio Shack. Just This is when I first started in electronics, I didn't know better than, eBay, than Radio Shack. I know better now. So I got the perf board, I need to cut it, I need to get three pieces of it, they'll fit inside here. Not very hard to do, I just need to count out how many squares I need in each direction and just cut it with a razor saw. It won't take long, I need to do it three times, okay? I want it to fit in the lower half, not the upper half, because this has got to fit in the upper half. You can't see what I just pointed at. This has got to fit in the upper half. And again, you know, this notch right here is like perfect for that to fit in. It's almost like they designed this for me. They knew I was coming, so they designed it for me. All right, well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to do this. It looks like I'm going to be able to do five squares in width. And I'm going to need about... 13 or 14 in length, which will fit in there just fine, okay? And this isn't a complex circuit to solder up. You just have to be really careful with heat while you're soldering it. You don't want it to get too, too hot. It gets too hot, it you'll fry the chip, and you got to erase, pull it off the perf board and start over. Also, I don't have enough of the right size capacitors. These are oversized. All that means is I've changed the resistance to keep the same blink rate going, so it's not that big of a deal. They're not that much oversized, just a teeny bit oversized. So I had to lower the resistance a little bit because the capacitance went up. To be expected, but it's still within range of what I can do. So I'm going to measure that resistance and as soon as I get this cut out. I'm going to start putting these three circuits together so I know what to do with it. Because the sooner I get that done, the sooner I can button these guys up. And I'm looking forward to getting these guys buttoned up. Because once they're buttoned up, then I can start buttoning up this. Okay? I have to do a little work on this one first. Because, obviously, bad seams. And I have to plan out everything with the way I want it to go. There's a some grates that go over this. And I want to do some lighting on those, too. Okay? I, I did a write-up of it on uh, Scale Model Attic. Alright, but this part right here straps on there like that, okay, and I want to put an orange LED in here so that these vents have a slight glow to them, okay, and yeah, I think it'll look good. I want to paint these vents flat black with an orange glow come oozing out from under them. It'll be perfect with this on there like that yeah I think it'll look good okay so I'm gonna get going on this there are some seams to deal with not too bad a lot of the seams on this guy should be there there should be panel lines where that joins the bad thing is it doesn't cover up this entire panel line so let me get going instead of rambling to you guys on camera back in a little bit since I can find this all right, one short thing. I've been using a rheostat or potentiometer to set the blink rate on the engines. And I took my handy nifty uh, multimeter, put it on resistance, <clears throat> and I measured the resistance across the two terminals of the potentiometer. And let's see. Once I got the blink rate set where I wanted it to, came out to be about 45k. They don't make 45k resistors, but they sure make 47k resistors. So I've got some resistors in hand. I'm just going to verify that they are 47k. And they are 46k. Make sure of that real quick, because I want to make sure that what I want. Yeah. 
the 46k they're exactly the resistance I'm looking for and I could re read the color codes on them but I'm a little on the lazy side when it comes to reading color codes I'll probably check them and verify but yeah it says 47k so got my resistors got my capacitors and my wire I'm gonna get some different color wire out in a second I'm ready to start wiring up all three of these 4060 timer chips so that we have power in and everything is going to be done. I'm not going to videotape the first two. I'll videotape soldering together the third one so everyone can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'll be back when I'm ready for that. First one's done, tested and functional. Two more to go. This took me about 20 minutes. The next two will go faster since I've already made one. Lots of fun making this little guy. Here. So you can see the back of it. And the front. I'm pretty much wedging things in there to get them to fit. And it's a lot of fun soldering little tiny tight places. And you have to do it quick because you can't let the heat build up too much or you'll fry the chip. But again one functional two more to build and I still have to build the engine tops with the actual lights in them that's fun too yeah notice the double magnifiers because these old eyes can't see and they're tight enough to deal with it now I have one of those head magnifier things but the dollar store glasses work just as well I'll be back when I get the other two done I'll videotape the third one um, I figure out how to do that where you guys will be able to see I'll probably put the camera across from me. Back in a little bit. I have success. Chip number two is working. This took me 10 minutes to solder this time instead of the um, 20. It's because I already did all the planning on the first one. And the second one is up and running. You can see it blinking. So now I only have one more to do. I'm going to videotape this one although I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see just because of camera angles and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get the camera angle to do it. I'm not going to do any soldering until I got every... I'm not going to do any filming until I get everything set up the way it needs to be. So keep that in mind. You probably won't... I'm not going to do all the planning stage on this. I'll explain what I did while I'm doing that one. So I'll be back in a second as soon as I get that done. But this is happiness. I got two of them working. Muy bien. All right, back later. Blinking lights, so soothing. It's time for bed. Just watch the blinking lights, and you will be happy you did. Lots of little blinking lights. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed. Alright, working on Mercury Mine. Mercury Mine.